Resistance to melanoma treatment is a crucial issue because patients inevitably get resistance when the treatment stops working, you then maybe use another drug. What is your interest in resistance and why are you talking about it right here at the melanoma meeting in Marseille? So as you rightly say, uh, resistance to targeted therapy for many, if not the majority of patients is inevitable and there's a lot of effort going into understanding the mechanisms of resistance and with that hopefully to design uh, treatments for patients on who become resistant or to try and prevent them become resistant. But the particular area that I'm interested in and others are as well is that there are a group of patients who will become resistant to treatment, who progress on treatment after a period of time of a benefit and then they will have a second line therapy usually with immunotherapy, and they may get a benefit from that, and then they progress on immunotherapy. And there are a number of case reports and observations that if you retreat that group of patients with uh, targeted therapy, the drugs that they've become resistant to, actually a significant proportion of them get a benefit from that. Now what might be happening then at the molecular level to explain that? So that's the, the critically important question. Um, our sort of basic understanding, based on Goldie Coleman hypothesis, sorry, is that tumours accrue mutations and this is how they become resistant. But in fact I think what we are understanding much more is that there is a sort of phenotypic diversity. In other words, that once that the tumour, uh, once it has uh, become resistant, once the, the driver to select out that resistance is removed, then the tumour cells may change and that they may then become more sensitive to that tumour again. And it's not necessarily based on some um, molecular change, but probably more fine control uh, in terms of um, epigenetic phenomena. Now in the world of practical medicine then, how should the clinician be using this? I think the answer to that is we don't really know. I mean, it has huge implications for us because if suddenly we're saying that we're going to be retreating all of those patients who previously benefited and then had a period of time off treatment, that has implications for patients. That's great for patients if we've got a, you know, another treatment that might help them. It has implications for clinicians and it has implications for payers. But I think what we really need to know is, a, is to understand this scheduling. So the EORTC has proposed a trial looking at starting with treatment A, moving on to treatment B when patients progress on treatment A, and then re-treating with treatment A when the patients have a second progression on treatment B. And we would do ABA or BAB and clearly link into that a lot of translational research to try and understand the underlying mechanisms of the resistance. Now, you were mentioning particularly targeted therapies, uh, targeting RAF, MEC, this sort of uh, target. Does this apply to those specifically? So it's, it's, it seems to, certainly it does apply to targeted therapies. I think we know far less about mechanisms of resistance, if that's the correct term, to immunotherapy. And we certainly know far less, again, about retreatments. We've got some data from the initial studies with ipilimumab, the anti-CTLA-4 antibody, that patients who benefit and then progress, if you retreat them at a later stage, a proportion of those will benefit. But in terms of the newer, the anti-PD-1 antibodies or the combinations, we've got little or no data. So that's an unanswered question. So what's the take home message for doctors on this question of resistance and retreatment? I think we're redefining what we mean by resistance. The fact that it, when a tumour becomes resistant doesn't mean that it will never again respond to that treatment. But we need more information, better understanding and that usually comes from a clinical trial and that's what we're designing through the EORTC.